Hello and welcome my friends, I and the cat say hello to you all while we are continuing to cheer 41, hopefully this time we can actually beat an opponent. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're struggling a bit, but worry not my dear friends, we're going to clap these enemies away. Nongshim, they have no chance, Faker gets his Orianna, we have a scaling bot lane, it should be all good. Let's see. Okay, owner is going to face check something. No, he's not. Okay, owner is safe. Hope you are safe as well. Maybe crack open a cold one. And let's enjoy some T1 highlights. Today, Nongshim, obviously, they're not the toughest opponent. I mean, they're literally reverse T1, right? 313 and 133. We shouldn't be too worried, right? Like, our comp is also pretty decent, right? We should have some decent lane prior. I mean, TF is like, I don't know, Schrödinger's good champion, right? At some points, like, he looks really good, right? The the stun card is just such an easy pick tool. And the damage is like, okay. Like, at two, three items, that guy is dealing an insane amount of damage. That, like, if you're not accustomed to it, you're you're going to be surprised. Both flash forward. Gumo has to flash away. But did you... Did he go into the turret then? Carrier is going to get that one. Let's go. Let's go. Any moment now? Q, slow, auto attack. And Kara wins the Hunger Games. Quite fitting as a Tomkinch. I mean, I guess he dies. Well, whatever. Yeah. So Tristana here, obviously. Yeah. She's going to do all this annoying stuff, but. Hey, Faker back on a comfort champion. I mean, his Ari looked fine, right? But it's like overall. The issue is not really mechanical play. More so, like how we co operate as a team. And how we are enabling um, each other, right? That was quite a good amount of damage, but I guess early game Lee Sin. Let's see, let's see! Call me! Not call me, baby! Look at me, baby! It's like, what? Open your eyes, man! Okay, flashless Faker, but Sylvie also has no flash. So if Faker uses the W to uh, walk towards his turret or owner, that should be all right. Okay, ults himself. Good amount of damage. Pretty tough, but in yeah, it works out. It works out, right? One for one. Uh, owner's Q sadly got interrupted, but I don't think it would have mattered, right? I don't think he would have gotten the kill anyway. Owner, yeah, you have to be a bit... Just be a bit respectful. Let's see bot lane so far. So good, right? If you look at the total CS, we are like in a fine position. Let's see. Again, Flash Force devoured. But the coordination again. That's what I'm talking about. Why is the coordination again so wrong? Right? It's like Carrier spits him. Uh, it doesn't matter in the end, right? It doesn't matter somehow, but like... Again, Carrier gobbles him up, and then he spits, uh, like, he doesn't spit him into uh, Guma's W, right? Come on, Carrier. Uh, close enough, close enough. Right, so this is like, ah, uh, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Also, call me on the rotation. Faker got some plates, it looks like. So that's good. So you see here first time, he's on screen, really, in nine minutes here. Uh, and yeah, I mean, stun cut into running away. It's like pretty basic, pretty nice for him. T1 up in uh, in Grubbies, right? I think owner took three. Sadly, you can't see that with the uh, LCK spectator hub. Okay, flash. Kick? Oh! Okay, okay. Owner and Faker. Okay. Actually, the entire squad so far. Right, there was just this one little, mini, uh, mini little thing, but uh, okay, Sylvie gets the kill, not too bad, but overall, mm. uh, we'll have to see. Like, I don't know, man. So far, like, if you look at it, five seven, sure, T one is like highly ahead, right? Whoa, <laughs> nice snipe, uh, right? Like. Faker has uh, insane in, uh, CS lead, right? Especially considering this matchup, right? Losing the flash early against this uh, Sejuani as well. But yeah. So that's uh, the TP from it. If Carrier also there. 
Not sure he will get anything done really, he has the slow and then Udyr will just bounce, pop him, bounce him, whatever. Ah, you have to hold the Q there, but I guess you're losing the stacks, maybe. It's tough, call me get some plates on the flip side, so yeah. Uh, maybe a bit too high if he write the TP from Carrier there, honestly, but for some reason we have someone who is respectful, right? It's like, look at call me, right? Why was he respecting so much? Regardless, oh no, this is... Uh, yeah, this is the same issue that they had last time when T1 was struggling, if you remember, right? Um, I mean, Faker lives for a long time, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, at least this time his bros come over, right? If you remember, I think last summer was it, when T1 was struggling. Uh, one of the big issues was that, for example, Faker was like in a in fine position or whatever. He was like doing his stuff in topside, which is obviously his job at uh, some part in the game. And then he was completely left alone, right? He had to push waves, otherwise they would get frozen on him. Or he needed the... What is it? Uh, the backup to just be able to push the wave or just hold the wave at all. Um, and uh, his team, especially owner of his as a jungler, his job was not there. Now it seems that's not the biggest issue. We have another fight, so let's just stop yapping. And uh, yeah, we see the damage from Zeus. We saw it in the previous play as well. Oh, nice shockwave there onto two. I think there was a cancel as well, but uh, yeah, overall T1, look at the top, right? Even though it was a bit of a wild game with the kills, right? Many one for ones, but if you look at the CS leads, you see the reason for this, uh, yeah, nearly 10,000 gold lead here, short of 20 minutes. T1 will slay the Baron at spawn, and uh, yeah, this is also the last turret taken care of. Uh, yeah, at least good to see that T1 is seemingly uh, all back to business, right? Um, obviously, we have like all like a really powerful. Oh my god! Wow, that was an an insane amount of damage. I mean, Faker level 15, three level lead here on top of his uh, individual late opponent. He is in the enemy fountain, more or less, right? Gets saved by Carrier. Carrier, don't spit him out into Fountain, okay? But yeah, uh, T1, at least here, seemingly, we're having a bit of fun. That's very good also for the confidence, right? 13 and 3, like, unheard of, like, 3 losses in Spring. It's like, what is this? Never seen that before. So yeah, a bit crazy. Game number 1 ends up really well. I don't think the comp is insane. I mean, I think it's fine, right? Um, but uh, mostly, obviously, they played the lanes out really well. The skirmishes also. Uh, we saw less of these, right? We had more like smaller 2v2s, uh, which like does that count as a skirmish? Well, maybe. Um, rumble. Is that rumble? Yeah, rumble support or rumble AD. We've seen something similar in the academy scene. So yeah, uh, again, T1 picks champions that are good. Hopefully also good in lane. Um, and then they, they do something. Obviously on the other side, Call Me, Jiwu, they're scaling uh, insanely with this Karma and Little Dragon here. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see, my friends. Uh, obviously, yeah, we have all the push, all the lane pressure here in bot lane. Carrier is, yeah, making his presence known. Ignite for poke, you know how it goes. Um, and then yeah, also top lane should be uh, should be fine again. Range versus uh, versus melee. Dinden, I mean he is one of the better Nongshan players if I'm not mistaken. Mistake. I'm someone sometimes mixing up Dudu with Dinden. I mean it's like ha. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's that. What? That's yo. That's illegal, no. Yeah, that's the difference I guess between Call Me and Cho V, right? Uh, both uh, sound similar, I guess, but uh, yeah, like the Talia uh, Karma matchup is just uh, unplayable if uh, if played correctly, right? But uh, wait, what? Did Tid Peter just get one shot? We well, regardless, uh, yeah, the mid lane matchup that's a bit concerning, but we'll just have to hope that Call Me is uh, indeed not as good as Trovi, and as such, Faker can maybe play the game a bit more because yeah, that matchup is otherwise not playable. Here Zeus here is experiencing the pain of being walked on, right? They're just uh, walking at him. Yeah, Ripperino. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, that's all the damage. Flash comes through. Should be able to get some plates. I mean, at least we're denying at least two or three waves. Look at this, man. That's crazy. Wow. Okay, Nongshim is now rotating over, man. I mean, there's like, there's so much minions dying in the turret. Right, there's a two level difference between the AD carries. On the run though, I mean, has to flash away, but doesn't matter, doesn't matter, right? The base damage so early on is just so much in our favor. They have no chances there. Uh, throats are being cut and here with the next minion wave goes into the turret just gets straight up ulted Okay, sadly Guma doesn't hit but the turret is like down at nine minutes. There is an There is a Leeson coming, but I mean Fuck you Leeson. I but shields unfair uh, Okay, that's annoying so close right from uh, From getting it all done and here, that's the earlier one shot, right? It's like, what? Blink it, uh, blink, and you miss it, man. Well, yeah. Again, we wonder how this happens, right? How are you like in so much trouble as a karma, right? Like that should not happen. Like owner obviously hit the old. Which I mean, I guess if you don't see the old coming, then maybe. Mm. I mean, whatever. And uh, yeah, carrier. I mean, we, we didn't see the start of uh, of that there, but I mean, a bit of a weird flank angle there, I guess, for what is it, a herald fight or something? Anyway, uh, yeah. I mean, Guma is getting close to a double the CS of Jiwu. Faker. I mean, again, with help of owner, but also call me not being the best, uh, doing fine there as well. Good to see top lane a bit more, a bit more pain, but uh, yeah. Doesn't really matter, it's top lane, right? Okay, two drakes also for T1, so we're stacking that. Again, this is just... We shouldn't get our hopes up too high with this game, right? It is against Nongshim, right? No disrespect to the uh, Nongshim squad. They're making, um, how would you say that? Package, not package rice, package noodles. Instant, instant noodles, instant noodles, yes, that's the word. It's really tasty, yummy, yummy. But uh, yeah, uh, they're also instant, uh, yeah, slain. It's uh, oh, Faker, watch out! There's an enemy. Okay. Um, let's see. I mean, Faker here, pretty unfair. Hello. <laughs> Ash. Unfair. 2v1 unfair. Okay, now hopefully we can get a return kill somewhere across the map. It looks like Dindin is going to be roasted. That's nice revenge there. Okay, he bought so much time. But uh, yeah. Again, we, we shouldn't be too happy about like everything here. Like even if we like win this game, which I mean looks pretty good so far. Um, and it's like we're we're beating the last place team, right? We need the small wins. Um, to stack up and then, uh, well, be happy, I guess. Okay, but a bit of a bit of damage, but not too much. Big thing is obviously Faker losing his flash just before the soul point fight here. Use the wall though to get in. Let's see, Zeus here. Let's see, let's see. Meganar is running out any second now though. He still gets his three Meganar. Oh, very nice. Sadly though, the the drag had stolen, so. Uh, Rough. One for one. Carrier flash for flash. We have inside track into mid lane though, so that should be that turret. Yep. Seems we took that down. Let's see. How many stacks does the smolder have? 177. You can't see it, but uh, that's quite a bit. I mean, that's some good. Ooh. I mean, okay. Okay. Sylvie. Okay. He doesn't get out, man. What was that? Again, a Kar Karma getting hit by Talia W is just so weird to see, right? It's like, you, 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 you should use the running technique, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, next strike, so five minutes roughly later. Hopefully owner this time can slay that one. Let's see, let's see. Okay, this time bro gets it. 
Zeus here in a 2v1, like seemingly winning. Nice, nice, nice. Pinging the Baron, yeah. We have a good amount of Baron damage. But Karma is a bit annoying, no? Oh, Faker, watch out, you're burning. Take some, take some water. Hydration or something. Okay. We should be able to get away, no? Would be pretty greedy for them to chase. Right? Guma just... Ah. Oh, close. Nice. But, like, we're all, like, they're all too greedy, right? T1, you should just go home. And Nongshim, I mean, for Nongshim, it's not greed, it's desperation, right? Uh, because, like, if T1 goes back with, uh, like, with the one fight and the Baron, it's just, ah, uh, it's just, uh, tough is the word that we're looking for. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's an Udyr. Let's not chase... Can we not chase Udyr? Okay. Well, he should fall down. Yeah, okay, now. Now he falls. And I mean, two minutes, three minutes, roughly till the next Drake, right? We should take control of the... Oh my, that's a good amount of damage. That's quite a good amount of damage. From the support rumble, ay 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 ay. Okay. Again, small wins, small wins, right? Getting a pick after a pick and then also getting the game and the game. <sighs> it's just, uh, yeah, we're nearing obviously the end of the regular split, right? It looks pretty rough, probably not going to get uh, first place against Gen G. Okay. Take that, take that. We're going to take the uh, the playoffs win, right? The one that matters more. This time is going to go straight up into our pocket, right? We have this uh, mini arc of losing our heads now in the last couple of weeks, right? And then we're going to be all sorted out, all prepped and ready to beat uh, every enemy that uh, appears before us. So Zeus here, without any care in the world, Gets, uh, yeah, four men. Yeah, um, yeah, in the meantime, obviously, you see on the mini map, the Baron is uh, just being uh, destroyed. Obviously, uh, we don't have the most Baron DPS, but uh, still enough, still enough. Obviously, a bit annoying the, uh, that, uh, yeah, all the top laner won't have the Baron buff, but uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't really matter, right? Hitting uh, an inhibitor. Now they will rotate over just to watch the inhibitor f die, right? Oh? Oh? What are the minions doing? I, uh. uh okay. Uh, we're just having fun. Now the inhib falls. Faker gets a. Wow! No, Faker, why are you trolling? Oh no, no, no! The dragon. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Mm. Ah, yes, yeah. Mm. Smolder surely is a balanced champion. Oh my god. Look at the damage that that motherfucker does. Oh, ho, Smolder! Ho, ho. Oh, ho, I'm a baby dragon! Ho, ho. Or something like that. I mean, I can't get my voice as high anymore. But, uh, yeah. I mean, hey, congrats for the Nongshim fans, they get their kills, but... Uh, nah, 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 it's not happening, it's not happening. T1 will get the Elder Drake, and then we will win the game. Trust. The hidden smite of T1. If we have Guma on Varus, you're not getting any objectives, just ask Pyoshik. Okay. This is this champion is just not okay. Just murder that dragon, man. Murder him. Murder this dragon, man. I hope the nerfs right games did uh, are enough, man. That champion is just so cringe. Again, he has Navori, which I think is not the right item, but. Uh, 
whatever. Okay, Baron, Ex we have Exodia, Baron, Elder, and Soul. I mean, I guess Baron has, Elder has run out, has it? It seems it has run out, right? Oh no, I mean, I guess that's Flash, uh, flash Kick, right? If Zeus can flash away, yeah, that's like, Sylvie is now useless. Oh, W? No, I, mm, maybe it doesn't matter. Oh my god, there he flies! My, what is that damage? What is that damage? What the hell? Riot! Okay, TP on Zeus, so they're giving up Elder for Zeus, but... Like, huh? Is that worth it? I mean, I guess they have Elder Drake anyway with that small little motherfucker there. Yes, Zonyas? What the hell? Okay, so that's that, but we have the real Elder Drake. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, <laughs> this brings me back to times like many, many, many years ago. I mean, honestly, I don't know what year it was. Was it 15 or 16? The 94 uh, <laughs> minute game uh, with uh, T1 versus Jin Air, where we also were on the cusp of destroying their base, but Azir and. Was it Caitlyn or Silver? No. Yeah, whatever. Something like that. We're just defending the base forever. And it's the same with this little motherfucker. Carrier is dead. Oh, he actually gets the flash out, but... Let's see. Like, we need to destroy all the inhibs somehow. Somehow. Oh my god! Let's go! That's it! We have won! They've... That's the first death, and the first death is also the one that matters most. A, a QW from Guma also one-shots with Elder. Like, I mean, late game damage in, in this Legion of Legends, man, is completely lost. Ay ay ay, damage is not balanced in this game. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's some damage. Anyway, I we, we get the 2-0. I, I said to, uh, we have to be positive here. We beat a Smolder, I guess that's the positive thing for today. 2-0, two, oh, two wins. Yeah, that, that's it, I think, about the good things, right? We look much better than in our recent defeats. So, uh, yeah, that's some positive news. Hopefully, you also have a positive day. And we see each other next time. Take care. Bye-bye.